It's Ghana Month. And of course, as part of the Ghana Month series, we look at sculpting and painting as it contributes to the revenue of the tourism sector in Ghana. James Hishan visited the Accra Art Centre and has come through with this report. So tourism is a key economic driver in Ghana. The sector in 2019, according to the World Data Atlas, contributed 3.8 billion Ghana cities to the GDP we have in the country. We are here at the Art Center in Accra to speak to a sculptor as well as a painter to know what they've been up to. Has their sales been dipping? Or better still, they are making some increments in sales. So I have a sculptor here to help me know what he's been up to. When he started, the sales really dipping, or there is an increment in sales, especially after COVID-19. Basically, what are you doing? This is a carved piece. But uh, this film, it's, it's a lion. Sculpture itself is the making of an abstract form, probably a wood, stone, or anything you can carve. It becomes a sculpture because it's, it's a three-dimension thing that you are projecting. So it's a making of an abstract out of a stone, a wood, or anything capable. At, at what age did you start with this? A very early age. For my primary age. Now let's look at sales in sculpting previous years and currently when you compare the two. Um, what would you want to tell us about that? With that, there has been a dip, a slight dip. That is the honest truth. But uh, there, there are issues to how it, the whole thing got dipped. What are some of the issues? 19 is the main issue that is globally, so it's affecting everybody. Because, for instance, most of the art talks that we do here are being patronized by the white. But we don't say the white alone because we have people in, in here also have money that love art as well. So they also buy it, but the chunk of the patronage comes from the outside world. So after the COVID-19, it looks like it has dipped a bit. So we are having our own slow moment, but for the business itself, it has its own two dimensions. There's a peak season and also there's a lean season. Uh, the peak season is somewhere July, August, September, where festivals like come in sequence from the Homo Wall, name it, any festival at all. So it becomes the peak season. At that time, people travel to come and have a feel of those festivals. So it's, it's our peak season when it comes to that time. And then the lean season is when they've gone back to their various countries after the September, October, day. and it picks again somewhere in December. Uh, so we pray with time, whatever that will help to get things done across the world works in that direction so that every business all over gets its own fair share. I would want you to take us through some of the stuff you have in here. If you can walk us through, we'll be glad to know what's really out there. A lion head being carved. So from here we'll do the sanding and then we'll do the final detail. And then we'll apply the polish before we put them in the shop so you can go in and have a look at some of the finished products in the shop asking how things have been done in the finish sure so we, we are going straight in there to look at some of the artworks he's done here at the art center and also look at the prizes previously and currently what the prizes are type of artwork that comes in the form of symbol an intriguing discussion there between James Shen and some sculptors in Accra. You know, as we mark the Ghana Man series, we shall be bringing more of these reports in our subsequent bullets.